How's it going, Gumi Gang? I hope you guys are doing awesome, and I hope you're enjoying Season 3 thus far, even though Rebirth Island is pretty damn sweaty, not gonna lie. But today, we're gonna go over the changes for the shotgun class that I could find and in the patch notes. So if we start off with the patch notes, out of all these massive changes we see to all these different guns, here in this one little line, we see shotguns, and they added the Long Haul 50 and Wolf Call 300 muzzle attachments to the Modern Warfare 3 shotguns. These are basically recoil-reducing attachments, and this is for multiplayer only, but I think it transfers to Warzone as well. And so essentially, you have these two extra attachments now. If you want to rock slugs that have a lot of recoil or something, you could try rocking one of these. They are nice, but there's probably better options as well for using slugs and having a bunch of recoil on your shotgun but this is nice to see but as far as changes go even the ones that i could try to find that were stealth changes this is pretty much it it really kind of pains me to say this but there really wasn't anything that changed with this patch with any of the shotguns so typically with a video like this after a new season i always post what changed but really nothing has changed and it's just kind of a little bit upsetting because as a content creator, I cover shotguns, not because I just enjoy them or they're fun, but I think that they're a very underappreciated class that could definitely use some spot in the limelight and get a little bit of that stigma away from the shotgun class as a whole. Now, it's not a huge deal, but it is a little bit disappointing to not see that there wasn't any balancing patches whatsoever. Now, I do think that in large, the shotgun class is pretty well balanced in Warzone. In multiplayer, they definitely need some love, especially the Modern Warfare 2 shotgun they're just kind of really bad in a lot of ways especially the pump actions they're just I don't know they just need some love but to me there are so many different things that need to be changed about the shotguns that I really wish would get addressed like slugs are really not that good on a lot of these shotguns ball rounds on the riveter are really really pointless and even though there are changes I would make for balancing making some better or some weaker it's also nice to just have a patch that sort of changes it up where it just sort of changes something and says here try this out now it's been buffed or it's been changed a little bit see how it feels now I really appreciate when they do that and I do want to point out though that as a whole I love the direction Warzone is going and this patch was amazing even though there wasn't really any shotgun changes as a whole the direction we're going especially in Warzone is super exciting and I love it and I really appreciate the devs and how they're going in and changing these things that Modern Warfare 2 did a little weird and they're kind of trying to fix those mistakes I really love that and I love how great Sledgehammer Games has been for multiplayer it's been such a great time with these devs but unfortunately I just wish there was a little bit more shotgun love and like like I said, again, it doesn't mean I wish there was just straight buffs to everything and everything was super oppressive. It would just be nice to see them get some attention where, I don't know, maybe the Lockwood 680, it gets 10 pellets back for its big barrel. The Riveter, it gets an extra pellet. Ball rounds are actually useful. Slug rounds on the Bryson 800 and the Bryson 890 are actually useful and can one-shot in multiplayer. Lockwood 300 slugs can one-shot in multiplayer to the chest. And in Warzone specifically, slugs on the Lockwood 300 are god-awful. You can't even two-shot someone with two slugs to the chest at point-blank range. So just kind of let that sit with you guys for a minute. So yeah, there's a lot of changes that I would recommend. And of course, like I said, not all of them are just straight up buffs and nerfs that I think should happen. I think that there should just be some variety and switch things up occasionally. Now we are getting some aftermarket parts soon and that's gonna be really cool for the KV broadside as well as the Lockwood Mark II. And also in the game files, they did in fact find the Spaz 12. So that might be the season four weapon we're getting along with the Car 98 of all guns, which is pretty cool. So I know this video is a little bit different, but I just kind of wanted to share my thoughts about the update especially regarding shotguns just a little bit disappointed that they didn't really include them at all in the patch changes again I'm super excited about the rest of the changes like they're all really good with the exception of that Renetti that pistol that got like buffed a few weeks ago that thing's kind of annoying to die to and I'm already kind of tired of it but regardless, I'm very happy with the direction we're going. I just would love to see a little bit more attention to the shotgun class. And you know, I have to advocate for them as the kind of shotgun guy here for COD and kind of the guy that covers them and shows stats and talks about them in depth. I just feel like I need to, and it's kind of my duty to kind of fight for them in some way. Now, I did consider making this a video sort of a list of things that I would like to see change in the shotgun category, things that need buffs, things that need nerfs, or just changes that I would like to see that would be fun for the game and the players. But I think I'm going to save that for a different type of video. For now, I really just wanted to kind of come on and talk to you guys kind of ramble a little bit, just talk about season three as a whole for shotguns and kind of what to expect. But really, that's gonna be it for this video. It was short, sweet, I rambled a little bit. I would say it's short, sweet, and to the point, but not really, I just kind of talked a little bit. But as always, I wanna know down below in the comments, what are your guys' thoughts 
on this update. Are you guys kind of disappointed that we really didn't get any shotgun changes whatsoever and there was a lot of shotguns that could definitely use some love both in multiplayer and Warzone? Are you excited about Season 3? Are you guys enjoying Rebirth Island finally being back? And with all that being said, guys, I will see you in the next video.